Okay folks, Brian here from North Wind Garage. Uh, today, today I'm going to put this uh, Reese hitch on the back of my uh, Toro time cutter. I'm going to cut a hole in it and recess this in and then maybe put a cross piece across the back here so I can uh, uh, tow a yard trailer or uh, tow things around the yard, that sort of thing. So that's on the agenda for today. Stay tuned, be sure to click like, subscribe, click the bell so you get notifications when I do a new video. Let's get to it.
Okay, folks, so I've marked this all up. I've got this little piece of quarter inch by inch and a half angle iron. Actually, it's two inch. It's two inch uh, this way and two inch this way. And I need to tie this back pull bar in with the reese hitch. For the purpose of just pulling uh, yard items around, small loads of firewood, uh, brush, that sort of thing with this tractor, I think, um, I think this will be perfect. Uh, this metal here is kind of thin for having a hitch on, but uh, light duty. The reason why I went with a, a two inch reese hitch because it holds all, all the hitches that I already own. So I won't have to go out and purchase anything smaller for uh, uh, just towing the small, the small trailer here that we have on the premises. So uh, that's, that's how I'm gonna roll. Maybe a little overkill for this little rig, but that's the way I'm doing it. Uh, this is a piece of inch and a half square tubing, uh, 3 16 sidewall. This little piece of quarter inch uh, angle iron by two inch is, is gonna tie the whole thing in. I'm gonna put it in there and clamp it up and tack it. And then I'll, I'll pull the whole assembly off and uh, do the full welding on it. Now I'll take it apart so I can get those welds on the bottom where I can't get to because the muffler's in the way.
Okay, folks, so this is what it looks like. All completed. So you may ask why I went with a two inch reese hitch on this. The reason why I did that is so I could use all of my uh, trailer hitch attachments that I can use on my uh, big vehicles as well. So I don't have to buy new ones or smaller ones or whatever the case may be. So there's an inch and a half crossbar here that goes across and bolts into the frame with a 3 8 bolt. And there's a piece of uh, angle iron here that ties into the back of the Reese hitch connector. So uh, there you have it. Okay, folks, that's strong enough uh, for that little tractor. I think we'll be able to use it around the yard and uh, get some yard work done with it and move firewood, uh, all kinds of things like that. So, uh, peace out till the next one, Northwind Garage.